Hi guys, Selena Walker here, naturopath and nutritionist, living deep in nature here at Esprit de Coide. And today I'm going to be talking to you about making a self-heal flower essence. And it's very hot here today, you can probably see me sweating away. And I decided to make use of this amazing energy from the sun. So I thought I would come down to my friend's self-heal and make a flower essence. So I thought, why not film this and get it out there as soon as possible? So if you were in the UK or somewhere very hot at the moment, then you can make use of the amazing energy of the sun. Now to some of you, you might think this is a bit woo-woo, but I'm asking you to be open-minded and just to remember how you feel when the sun is shining on you. You feel the energy of the sun going in. So if you were putting plant matter onto water, the energy of the sun is going to go through that plant matter into the water. So all I've got here is I've got a glass bowl which will absorb the sun rays. And that glass bowl has some water from our well, which is fed by springs. So I would always recommend using good quality water, not tap water that's full of chlorine. Ideally spring water or well water, you could use distilled water, but make sure that it hasn't got the harmful chemicals in such as chlorine or fluoride. Um, you could use charcoal filters and just really filter the water before. So here she is, beautiful self-feel, and this gorgeous patch has risen underneath my apple tree here. So all I'm simply going to do is fill the bowl with the self-heal flowers and put them in. So I'm just going to gently do that now in gratitude, thank you, to the plant. Just put, gently placing the flowers on. Now the one thing you want to do is just remember that your energy is also going to be part of this essence. So what I would say is just to make sure that you have a calm mind before doing this. Now, these self heal flowers are absolutely gorgeous. Mm. I'm not smelling it because she has a strong smell. I just love connecting with the plants on that level. And there's loads of other flowers that are just about to bloom on here, so I'm not too worried about taking a lot of the flowers off but there's plenty it's a nice big patch that's why I came here and I would recommend always finding a nice big patch because what I don't want to do is clear all the flowers which will stop her growing for next year because I'd love this patch to be even bigger next year and I want to support that so all I'm simply doing is with gratitude picking the flowers and putting them on top of the water. Now, I mean, some people do this and they simply just place one flower on. I mean, you can do this and just place it by the plant even because it will absorb the energy, particularly if you get the rays of the sun coming through the plant onto the water. So there's no specific number of how many flowers. Some people like to get the water full of the flowers. Some people like to get them submerged and get them right in the water. Some people just like to have a certain amount of flowers, like if they have a specific affinity with a number, say leaden or seven, or they're into numerology, they might want that amount on there. But for me, it's all about just getting the energy of the flowers into the water. So I just want the surface of the water covered in the flowers, because what that will mean is all the rays of the sunshine as they go in through, just will penetrate through the plant and into the water which will make our medicine. Now this particular medicine works more on a kind of emotional and spiritual level I would say rather than a physical level and you know she is self-heal so that is what she is going to do. She is going to allow us to tune in with our healer inside. You know I always say I am not a healer well, I am a healer, but I can heal myself. I don't heal others. I, yes, I advertise myself as a naturopath, a herbalist, nutritionist, but I am no healer. All I do is pass on wisdom that others may not remember, but that wisdom and that healing is inside of us. So what self-heal does is when you connect with the flower essence, she will connect you to your inner self-wisdom and your inner ability to self-heal. So she might remind you of a remedy that you need or what you actually need to do to heal. 
what I usually find as well when I'm doing these is I'll get to the point and it's all, it's, I feel a plant's going, okay, enough. And I'm, I'm getting to that point now. And you can see if I can raise that up. I'm not going to tilt it because I don't want it tipping, but hopefully you can see that. Looks beautiful. So I'm just inviting the sun to come down here, clear the grass so the sun can come on there. And what I'm going to do now is simply leave this for a good few hours for the sun to penetrate through into the flowers and into the water. I put quite a lot of water in there because it's a very hot day. As you can see, the sweat dripping down my face. So that, some of that water will evaporate. And also, I want to make enough essence to be able to share with others. And what will happen is don't be disheartened if those flowers do look like they've deteriorated a bit because they will, in this heat, start to maybe... Um, well, the composting down process really, start to wilt, that's the word I'm looking for, and go into the water. But that is just going to put more of the energy in there. So we will now let nature do her work. Let the sun and the flowers combine together to create a beautiful spiritual and emotional medicine for us to allow us to heal ourselves. And I'll see you in a couple of Hi hours. Hi guys, so here we are back after a few hours so i think it's probably been about four or five hours that this beauty has been brewing our self-heal flower essence and i was talking about earlier how self-heal allows you to do that she allows you to tune into your own wisdom to know what you need to do to heal so what i'm going to do now is show you how to make your mother essence and talk about how you can then make a stock essence so all i simply need to do with gratitude is thank the flowers and just give them back to the earth. So I've just got a bit of wood, a wooden tool here that I'm pulling it out with. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because if the plant matter is left in, then what can happen is it will decompose and it can cause things to go a bit pear-shaped if there's not enough alcohol in there. Now, you might end up with the odd bit left in there as it's impossible sometimes to get every bit of pollen and every tiny little bit out but you can strain it as well before bottling it up for customers or for yourself if you're concerned about that kind of thing so yeah i'm just scooping it all out with my makeshift spruce spoon and most of that is out now so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to measure how much i've got so it might actually be more than this measuring jug let's have a look yeah, it is actually. It's probably about a cup and a half. There's another bit of petal here. So I'm glad I brought the big jar down. So let me just pop that back in there so it doesn't tip. So all I'm simply going to do now is I'm going to pour the flower essence into here and then add the same amount again, but in alcohol. So You can use a measuring jug or you can simply see. So I know it's up to there. So I'm going to top it up to just below the, just below the top line really with some vodka. So I've got my Welsh vodka here. There we go. Just topping it up. I love that clucking sound. You know you're making medicine. There we go. Just put the stopper back on, not to waste any. And that is now find the lid that is now what i would class as my mother tincture and i would simply put a label on this i would say when i've made it you could put when what sign the moon is in what the sun is in you could put all kinds of information but the main things as you can see here from another mother essence that i've made is to say what what date it is and when it was made and what batch number is if you're going to be commercially selling it and then so this would be my mother tincture and I want to store it somewhere dark or in a dark glass like that just to preserve it that bit better. But what I would then do to get from that to that, which is what you generally buy, that is classed as your mother tincture and that is basically it could be classed as a stock bottle because that's what would be in your stock in your shop. <laughs> so all I would simply do is fill this stock bottle 50% with water, 50% with alcohol, and then I would put in drops from the mother 
essence into here. Now I tend to put, depending on the size bottle, if that's, that's a 10 ml bottle, I would put 10 drops from the mother essence and that's the way that I tend to go and give it a good shake because giving it a good shake once it's in there energizes it with your energy and you can keep doing that. Now I like to keep these stock bottles on me just in the car, in my bag, the little bottles and they're great and what I would do throughout the day is because they've got pipettes in them you can simply open them and take a couple of pipettes not a couple of a pet, sorry, a few drops. So I tend to take four drops under the tongue a couple of times a day, sometimes up to four times a day, and never underestimate the power that these flower essences can have on your emotional and spiritual well-being. Recently, I've been dealing with some issues that have been coming up, and I thought it was all based on fear. So I went to a flower essence that was going to help me with, with fear, and the monkey flower, and lots of lots of strange things started happening. I was getting loads of fearsome dreams. I was screaming in my sleep. Out. And then suddenly I realised it's the wrong essence. It's not fear that I need to work on. So I then went into looking at my constitution, what essence, um, what the essences mean for my shadow side and my light side. And I came up with agrimony was sort of who I needed to work with. So I got my agrimony flower essence out and literally within hours after taking the first dose, well, it was, it was not even hours, it was minutes after taking the first dose, I was feeling benefit. And I could feel that wearing off. And after a couple of doses, I can now feel that it's lasting longer. So never underestimate the power of these flower essences. So I hope that's inspired you to really get going making your own flower essences. How do you find out about their spiritual and energetic properties? Well, you can sit and meditate with the flower. It's interesting because the bark flower remedies, uh, there was a, quite a few people went out searching for these flower remedies and they all came back with the same feelings and vibration from the flower. So never underestimate that gut instinct, that intuition that's in you telling you what flower you need. So that is how you can find out. But you can also Google search if you're not quite there with your own intuition yet and find out what they are for. Now this beauty, she's called Selfie, so that gives you a bit of a clue. She's going to tap you into your intuition. She's going to help you go on your path of self-healing and she's going to help you see intuitively what you need to self-heal. You could even rub some in your third eye there to really get her going on that self-healing journey. Now, who can you make flower essences with and who can you not make flower essences with? Well, you can make flower essences with any flower, but if that flower is poisonous or has very high chemical constitutions of, say, alkaloids, and you're not going to want to have that in the water, then what you can do is you can put the bowl by the plant and have the, have the bowl so that the light comes through the plant into the bowl so the energy will be going there but there's no chance of you poisoning yourself. So I hope this has really got you going on your flower essence journey. If you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel it really helps me get this wisdom out there to others and if you want more information and you want to stay in touch head on over to my website selenawalker.earth and subscribe to my free newsletter where you'll get hints and tips on how you can lead a healthy life, talking about how you can create a healthy body, a healthy mind and a healthy planet. I'll see you soon.